unique concerns, that women should not be choosing between calling their children and having necessary feminine hygiene products. That's an absurdity that we need to address. And then as Wendy said and Gloria said in terms of importance of family reunification, and Rosalie, my dear friend who I love so much, um, you know, the struggle for women, and I had the pleasure of working on a women's stair for almost four years, and the, you know, women, God bless them, their maternal instinct, the desire to reunify with their children is something that's so powerful, but we need to do so much more to provide that maintenance. Uh, other prison systems have people being able to communicate through Skype. We need to do so much more in New Jersey to maintain that sacred commitment between mother and child. So thank you very much. Thanks for being Thank you, Thanks, 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 Thanks to great Mildred Crump and Rosemary. Thank you. Now, um, and I just want to thank again Topeka Sam. And we're going to be working closely with Topeka to develop women-based housing uh, in the state of New Jersey. So anybody interested, uh, please contact us or Jenny Pena. And by the way, could I just also have the members of the New Jersey Reentry Corporation who work their backsides off every day to please stand and get recognition? Thank you. Thank you. And I have to do a special recognition for Dio. Dio's our CFO. Dio, could you please stand? Dio! Dio, Dio come up here. Dio, come up here. Dio's most powerful word is no, which is, I guess, a good thing for a CFO. Um, but I just want to, she's, um, I, I, this is so politically incorrect, but this is, she, Dio's like my office wife. So, um, and, and she is the best. And I just want you, without Dio, this place would not happen. Yes. So thank you. Now the next speaker before we have our legislative panel, we have somebody very special. Um, not only as a sports and celebrity agent, not only somebody who's born in the sacred soil of, of New Jersey from Livingston, but he had his own battle with addiction. And what's so particularly important is that he's come back here to New Jersey to share with his story. And I spend a lot of time with addiction providers, whether it's in Patterson at Turning Point or, or Avon Village. I'm going to get in trouble for recognizing. I see Patricia here um, from BOA. But part of it is treatment, treatment, treatment. And Darren is a great celebrity agent, and he's been somebody who's been so focused in fact, he's got a great best-selling book that he'll sign in the back for all of you interested in purchasing his book. But first, I want to break away to a few seconds before he's introduced on his book, Aiming High. Can you roll the tape for Darren Prince on Aiming High? You maniacs! Hulk Hogan here, the greatest of all time without a doubt. And I'm all pumped up today, brother. So I a buddy of mine, Darren Prince. He went way over the deep end and reeled himself back in, man, walking the straight and narrow. And I'm so proud of Darren Prince, I can't even tell you. So what you gonna do when Darren Prince runs wild on you? Your story, your experience is a powerful one, isn't it? Yeah, very much. I was an opiate addict for many years, probably 20 plus years of my life, more than half my life. You know, accelerate my success in business ultimately became my downfall. Um, like any other substance, it, uh, it turned on me. At first for me, it started when I was a teenager experimenting and insecurities, not feeling confident with myself, not feeling comfortable with my own skin, made me feel like Superman. I chased that feeling for many, many years. Then I miraculously somehow with the right people got involved in the entertainment industry with some enormous global superstars. And to my friend, Darren Prince, man, I am so proud of you. And I wanna say, I am so happy that I've seen the change in you and it's been wonderful. You affected a lot of people's lives. So congratulations. Darren Prince, you have been there for me through everything. Yes, I'm proud of you. Proud of you for being the man. Proud of you for writing a great book. Proud of you for being one of the most respected agents anywhere on God's green earth. You will always be Darren Prince. A limousine riding, jet flying, kiss steel, wheeling dealing, son of a gun. Woo! Darren Prince, nature boy, 
Woo! You know, it's tough because I also didn't feel worth it. goes back to that 14, 15 year old kid. Same as I had Darren Prince, Jewish kid from Livingston, New Jersey, had a great loving mother and father, but still felt like a broken piece of crap. That how am I when these two kings that actually loved and respected me more than I ever loved and respected myself? Magic Johnson inspiring his friend and agent Darren Prince to write a book, Aiming High, the memoir about Prince's own struggle and recovery from an opioid addiction. From my pain in life, I found my purpose. Du Jour Magazine and founder Jason Bin celebrating the book's success at Pomona NYC with Darren's friends and colleagues like Dr. Drew Pinsky.